they got their finger over their mouth. They have this closed body language where they're kind of hugging themselves, sort of like self-comforting thing, right? And they're sort of, they're pointed away from you a little bit, you know, one little body language thing, but you had three or more things together and they're shaking their head like, yep, I get it. You know, you'll see that, right? They're not getting it. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. You know, again, that's that's the basic way that I, I learned how to do it from State Farm back in 1999, 2000, when I first was got on my first storms. And I carry that over to every other carrier that I ever worked for. And universally, 100% of them absolutely loved it. And they told me, I, I got calls from carrier manager on storm saying, Hey, listen, you know, I really appreciate the work you did. You know, I, you know, close it on. Nobody else wants to close on site for some reason, but you do. And we really appreciate that because it's, it's a much higher level of customer service. Right. So I want to kind of talk about now that we've kind of gone through the details of it, right. The sort of the workflow and the times, right. So if you add all those times up, we're looking at between 45 minutes, maybe an hour and a half max yeah, on when yeah. claim. And that's, that includes, printing stuff out, filling out reports, you know, explaining everything to the homeowner. And, and then, you know, maybe even like doing a little bit of a negotiation with the contractor. Well, you know, there's no way in the world we, we're going to be able to get those. We can't get the truck down there close enough to, to drop the shingles on the roof. You know, can you give us something for access? Yeah, sure. No problem. You know, whatever. So you, you get, you, you work things out, right? So you're scoping the loss. You're photographing the loss. You're estimating the loss. You're making coverage decisions, right? Part of that coverage decision is that the insured points at something and says, that's from hail, and it's actually not. It's like the bottoms of the siding are rotten or whatever, and that's not covered. It's just not. So that's part of it. That's, that's making coverage decision. Saying, yep, there's hail damage on it is also a coverage decision, right? Um, and then putting all that stuff together and printing out a copy of the estimate and going back up and, and explaining everything, giving your spiel to the homeowner while you're standing right there in front of them, talking to them, right, so that you can kind of read their body language and get questions from them as you're standing there, right? Because this is one of the pros that I found um, is that when, if, I'm, if I can explain the exact same thing over the phone or in person, if I do it over the phone, I can't see the person. Th they might be going, yep, uh-huh, yeah, sure, right? It, over the phone, and that's all I hear. I'm like, okay, well, this person sounds like, you know, they're saying affirmative things, right? But then I, if I do that same spiel to that same person, if I did it in person with them, they got their finger over their mouth. They have this closed body language where they're kind of hugging themselves, sort of like self-comforting thing, right? And they're sort of, they're pointed away from you a little bit, you know, one little body language thing, but you had three or more things together and they're shaking their head like, yep, I get it. You know, you'll see that, right? They're not getting it or they disagree or they think they're still skeptical in their mind. They're, they're waiting for the, the part where they're going to be cheated, right? This is, and it's, it just is what it is. A lot of homeowners, the conventional wisdom out there is that the insurance companies have to save money on their claim and, and drag out the process, right? Those two things, which they are out there to save money on their claim. That's why they hire adjusters so that we can pay the right amount, not too yep. much. That's the saving money on the claim part, right? So if you're sitting there talking to the homeowner and they're doing this, yes, yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally get it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, whatever, right? They don't get it. They don't, they're, they don't want to get it. That's when I stop and I'm like... Um, you know, I'll, I'll, depending on what part of the spiel I'm at, I'm, you know, I might be talking about like the first check, you know, and they're doing this number, right? I'm like, um, I'll stop and I'll say, listen, you know, the grand total for this whole thing, the only thing that's really going to come out of your pocket should be your deductible and at any given time. And this is where the supplement spiel part comes in, right? Contractor standing right there, maybe, or there's no contractor. I'll say, listen, this guy, later on, he finds more damage or if, if it looks like, you know, we need to add something to this or something, you know, if something comes up that, that might increase this, call me back and we'll, we'll get, I'll get with your contractor and we'll make sure we, we get you the right amount of money. So again, the only thing, you know, excluding the non-covered things that we talked about, the only thing that should come out of your pocket, again, like I said, is you're going to be your deductible. Oh, oh, well, I mean, okay, I guess. I mean, that's not, and they start to do more positive by language stuff because it's like, all right, well, I guess I'm maybe not going to get screwed over by the insurance company, right? So that's one huge benefit, right? Coming up on Adjuster TV. 